Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Colonial Minutemen from Warlord Games. It's for their Black Powder line, their uh, American War of Independence. It says it has 30 hard plastic militia. And uh, let's take a look at the rest of the box. Um, yeah, they look like a variety of ragtag troops, which is perfect. Plastics made in China by War Games Factory. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. First thing I want to do is get this sprue out because it's bent. Yeah, that's that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. I'm not going to be using these bases, so and these this plastic seems to be a little soft actually. Yeah, it's not. This is not. I mean, it is hard plastic, but the sprue is soft. The figure, the okay, the bases are rock solid. Yeah, no problem. But that sprue seems a little soft. It's weird. It's weird. You would think to be the same type of plastic going out to the side. All right, let's go ahead and get this page out. Let's take a look at what it has to say. It has to say nothing. Okay, let's take a look. Colonial militia, I'm talking about the clothing, and then it talks about bodies A, B, C, and D, where 18th century, and then E, F, G, and H, uh, frocks, buckskins, moccasins, and then heads, and labeling, and Officer's hat, knitted cap, round hat, tricorn. Combined bodies with hunting shirts and heads and knitted caps to make French soldiers. And then on the other side, it shows the sprues and the letters on each of them. Okay. Interesting. And having that one page implies that all three of these sprues is Inspector Morella S. Same one as my Continental Infantry. Um, okay, that comes with 24 bases there, plus six makes 30. Each of these sprues have 10 figures, it looks like. So three of these would make 30. And it looks like Hunting shirt, hunting shirt. Great for riflemen, actually. And then there's guys in looks like civilian dress, just just coats, not military coats. And this guy has no coat. Okay, let's see if we can't get the ball. Three sprues are exactly the same. So, so understand that. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look right here at these heads. I got tricorns. They're not double-sided, are they? No. Great. That means they're they're full heads. I don't have to glue something to the head. You got round hats. A tricorn right there. A round hat. And then if I flip it, you got some. Okay, you got an officer's hat. That's cool. Some more tricorns. Some knitted caps for either your French or just guys running around. I don't know if I'm going to use any of the knitted caps. I might throw a few of them in there just for variety. You got your buglers. There's a couple of them. You got his sword arms. There's a couple of them. Some loose muskets. One looks longer than the other. Um... There must be some hands that are holding muskets. There you go, right here. We got some hands that are holding muskets. Yeah, these are going to be super easy. They don't have bases either on their feet. You have to glue them to these, but I'm not going to. I'm going to glue these directly to the Sarissa base, which means I'm not going to have to putty them. I'm going to save a step. That's awesome. Oh, this guy's got. He, oh, this is the first one I've seen. Sling. He's got 
slung over his shoulder. I mean, you know, they all have slings, but you don't ever see anybody wearing them. Ooh, a bunch of tomahawks right there. Ooh, and a couple more. That's like everybody's carrying a tomahawk. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that happen. There's a sword and a sheath. Yeah. Remember, this is tripled, so so that guy with the where's it at? These two arms with swords. I'm gonna have six of them and two buglers. I'm gonna have six of those. So yeah, I'm easily going to be able to make two regiments. Uh, I make 16-man regiments, so this would be two 15-man regiments. But uh, all I got to do is just throw a figure in from something else. Or actually, what I was thinking about doing was taking a, a couple of these figures and intermixing them with my colonials to make uh, just to make them look not so neat and tidy, to make them look like they've got some guys out of uniform which they should be because they're kind of ragtag early in the war and I'm doing Princeton all right so you saw well okay let, let's take a look at these bodies let's get a closer look at these bodies before um, wow straps ammo and horns cartridge bags canteens this guy's got a knife on his chest right there yeah okay flip it uh, these canteens are kind of big actually in my opinion but all these straps and waistcoats you can, it's beautiful beautiful molding I don't see a whole lot of sprue lines, or, or, or I do see one right there on his leg. But that's not very many of these have... I'm looking at the other guys, and I don't really see any mold lines. That's a good thing. So that one guy will be easy to clean. Yeah. Marines are going to be wearing these hats. I could probably make these guys into Marines. No, I'm not. <laughs> I wonder if these parts would mix with the infantry parts, because an arm is an arm, right? So, and a and a and a body's a body. So you would think they'd mix mix and match. We'll see. I'll probably try that on a couple of figures. Get a guy in full uniform and give him a knit hat. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video, uh, reviewing the militia from Warlord Games, their black powder line, and uh, like and subscribe to the video if you'd like, and if you want to see more of these videos, I am doing a Princeton Project update uh, almost daily, every other day or so, I'm uploading a video about my AWI Princeton, and... Uh, Come on, check those out. I'll catch you next time.